All right, guys. So welcome to a very, very interesting video. A couple of days back, I sort of put my rant out there about how the iPhone 12 was troubling me, and I'm gonna get rid of it. Well, I've not exactly gotten rid of it. I'm in the process. But meanwhile, what interesting has happened, as I did mention then as well, I have switched to the Mi 11X, and I thought what would be a better position or a better situation to start with the 11X with the official MIUI 13 Android 12 based Indian update. And yeah, anyways, you will know by the end of the video what I mean to say. In today's video, we're going to talk about the complete review of official Android 12 based MIUI 13 for Indian users, that is for the B11X. And before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So in this video, you might see hints of coming from an iPhone here and there comparing to the iPhone. So don't judge because as a daily driver, that's what I'm coming from. And my review today is going to be mostly on that. It is going to give you a very clear indication of how good MIA 13 is and where are the areas where I found it to have improvements which are needed. Now, talking about the update, the first thing that we will do is, of course, let's go to settings here. Let's go to about phone and let's go to the MIUI version and let's click on what's new. Now, it does say stable MIUI based on Android 12 updated Android security patch to February 2022. We are in April. Anyways, increased system security. Very secure. Anyways. <laughs> More features and improvement, new apps can be opened as floating windows directly from the sidebar, optimization, enhanced accessibility, support for phone, clock and weather, optimization, mind map nodes are more convenient and intuitive now. Okay, so that's everything that is mentioned over here. Now, I have told you guys this in the past that whenever an update is released by Xiaomi in China, they get the complete amount of features and by the time it goes to the global market or by the time we get it in India, it is a half-baked effort. And that is exactly what is happening with MIUI 13 in India as well. So we will start with something very basic like wallpapers. You know, the new launcher is there. But if you go to wallpapers, you will notice that these molten glass wallpapers that you have, they are present, but they are not live wallpapers. They are static wallpapers. Now, I don't really understand what is stopping Xiaomi from giving something as basic as this? I mean, it's really, really weird. So of course, the molten glass wallpapers are missing. The live ones are definitely missing. You still get the Google dialer, Google messaging, which is a very, very common thing. Now the camera has some improvements. Of course, you do get the built-in document scanner and a couple of features are missing here and there. But overall, the camera has been just fine. But in the camera section, there is a major feedback or issue that I have noticed. So remember the previous video in which I told you guys that I was recording myself with the Mi 11X and it stopped midway because it was overheating. So that was being recorded in 4K 60fps and we are not even in a warm room, right? And it stopped recording and it happened to me on more than one occasion. So that is something which definitely needs to be looked into. As far as camera clarity and all the other features are concerned, everything is still the same. There is no major improvement as such, okay? Now, let's talk about the elephant in the house, the UI smoothness and jitteriness. Now, we of course are running at 120 hertz and based on your feedback, we are now shooting our videos in 1080p60, 1080p60, smaller file size, smoother videos for you, everyone wins. Anyways, so the UI smoothness is definitely better than 12.5.7 enhanced. That's the last version of Mi Linux stable update that was available in India. Now, if you ask me, what about Android 12? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, there might be some under the hood security things and a few smoothness hints here and there that might have changed. But if you look at MIUI 13 and MIUI 12.5.7 or MIUI 12.5 enhanced side by side, you will not be able to make out if it's MIUI 13 or MIUI 12. Another feature that is missing in the Indian update is the control center is still the good old MIUI 12.5 control center. You don't even get the new control center. To the left, of course, yes. You do have the Google feed, which runs smooth for the most part, but sometimes it'll stutter, sometimes it'll jitter. But apart from that, the experience has been pretty cohesive. 
I will tell you this, apart from the missing features part, as a day-to-day -day usage thing, this particular ROM has been pretty stable, pretty smooth. Even when gaming, I have observed that in a 60 FPS mode, it does a pretty decent job. So for gaming per se, even without unlocking the bootloader, even on stock ROM, B11X is doing a pretty decent job. Now that brings me to important parts, like the security application. So if you go to settings and you go to about for the security, you do get 6.1.6. .6. So while we were talking about gaming, let's talk about game turbo over here. The good thing here is this is a full fledged unlocked game turbo in which you get almost all the features that are available in the latest game turbo. So, you know, not only you get the new security application, but you get all the new features of the new game turbo, which is a good thing. So they have included some you know, skip some features. That is how they are going with MIUI as far as the Mi 11X is concerned. The, you know, quick settings and the control center are doing a splendid job as far as smoothness is concerned. So no complaints there. One complaint though, it would have been better if they would have included MIUI messaging and MIUI dialer because that notification of this call is now being recorded is very, very annoying. You know, give this video a thumbs up if you are one of those. Apart from this, Google Chrome scrolling issues are not there. It works absolutely fine. So what Android 12 essentially has done to MIUI 13 is it has definitely added a bunch of smoothness, streamed out the performance, you know, as far as the performance numbers and the in-game performance is concerned. Now moving on, if you go to the app drawer, you will see that, you know, things are pretty similar, pretty stable as they were. There were no issues and no problems as such. Now one peculiar thing that I noticed here, I'm on an unlocked bootloader. This is a fast boot ROM. I was in 12.5.7, I got an OTA update and I up updated it and then I did a factory reset. But I am getting an error of safety net failed and device is not certified, which is really, really weird. I have not rooted this device. There is no custom recovery installed. In fact, I got this MIA 13 as an OTA update, but still, you know, these security issues are present. So if you want the complete experience, two ways to go about it, Majisk and fix all these issues or completely lock your bootloader. Now the good thing here is in the Google Play Store, as you can see over here, Monet UI is somewhat working. So, you know, even if you go to say the clock application or any Google application, I don't really have any Google application, the Google Drive. Yeah. So Monet UI is definitely working in apps related to Google or Google applications, but I really hope that Xiaomi can someday go ahead and enable that as a wallpaper picker or some, something like OnePlus has done. It would be really, really great. Now moving on, let's talk about the gallery application. The gallery application, of course, is updated. If you see over here, you do have a few new features. The UI looks different. You do have HAIF mode even in the camera and all those features are present and they work absolutely fine. Now let's talk about the important part. Let's go to the settings menu. If you go to about all specifications, you will see extended RAM is shown over here. All the system info is present and this is the February security patch. So I really hope 11X will soon get another update. But apart from this, you know, if you go to always on display and lock screen, you go to display, you know, the advanced features which were available earlier are still present but nothing new has been added. You know, the control center, battery indicator, all those things are absolutely same like MIUI 12.5. But if you actually go to the battery section over here, you will see that you now have a performance indicator, which is a good thing. I thought this was a China exclusive, like a lot of MIUI 12.5 features. Now, something that I'm sort of disappointed with is the battery life on this device. I barely, you know, I, I struggle to get around five hours of screen on time with the latest update. I really hope they can fix it in the next update because prior to this in 12.5.7 enhanced, I was easily getting five and a half to six hours. And this is without gaming. With gaming, you would get around three, three and a half hours at the most if you're lucky. But yes, the toggle is present. If you go to this section, you have the temperature, how many times I have charged and all that stuff. This itself shows how weak the battery life is. And I'm on the second or third charge cycle. So, you know, not really nitpicking there. In passwords and security, the good thing is screen lock, face unlock and fingerprint unlock is present and they work absolutely fine. So no problems there. If you go to additional settings, you know, you have clear speaker, you have memory extension, you have gesture shortcuts in which you have back tap, which works much better now. I don't know what they have changed. You have three finger screenshot along with expanded that is scrolling screenshot, partial screenshot is present. Google Assistant works absolutely fine and the one-handed mode 
which is now based on Android 12, is much more you know reliable. It works much much better than it used to earlier. So those are good things. But apart from this, you know, I don't see any major changes. I don't see the option of notification history. You do have some status bar customization, but again, a lot of Android 12 features are missing. So all in all, if you ask me about the Mi 11X, Android 12 and MIUI 13 in India, yes, you should update. You have much more smoothness. You have decent gaming performance. The only highlights are you will lose out on some battery life if you're on 12.57. So if you think battery life is very, very important for you, stay there. So first, let's talk about the Antutu benchmark numbers over here. Unfortunately, I was not able to take a screenshot of the CPU throttle test. 682,008 points. That's pretty normal. Very, very standard score as far as the Mi 11X is concerned. Now, apart from Antutu, I really did not run any other benchmarks, but we will run the CPU throttle test the Geekbench test and pro probably share it with you when we do a gaming review. All in all, this is a decent update. I would not say a very amazing or good update. That would have been when they would have given us all the MIA 13 features. But still, this is bearable. If they can improve the battery life, it will do a much, much better job. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this review and the Indian update for the 11X? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.